Animals and human beings have had an enduring companionship. Since the dawn of history, human beings have tamed animals and used them to their advantage. Apart from their services as beasts of burden, they have participated in battles along with their masters. In fact, the speed and mobility in the earlier wars was only possible because of the horses. When the desert-dwelling Arabs clashed with the most powerful empires of their times, they traveled long distances with the help of horses, mules and camels. It was on the back of their sturdy steeds that they reached the shores of the Atlantic. Mongols and Tatars swept across Asia and Europe with the help of their horses. Napoleon, the great captain of war, depended largely on his cavalry. Animals played a major role in wars till the Second World War. Important tasks are performed by animals even in today's modern armies. Pakistan army is well equipped with modern means of transportation, but some areas and mountain ranges in the north are such that vehicles cannot be used. Therefore, horses and mules have to be employed. Remount Veterinary and Farms Corps, commonly known as RV and FC, is doing an excellent job as regards breeding, care and training of these animals. Remount Wing is responsible for breeding and training of animals, especially horses and mules, to meet the requirements of the army. Veterinary Wing looks after health care and medical treatment of these animals. Farms Wing, besides providing milk, butter and cheese to military personnel, caters for breeding and provision of fodder to farm animals. To shoulder these responsibilities, the officers and men have to undergo continuous training. Earliest signs of remount are found in 1400 BC which show that people concerned with animal transport were very competent in breeding, care and training of horses. The Khani Khana according to Akbar Nama besides being a military leader was also the chief remount officer. During the British rule, remount, veterinary and farms functioned as separate departments in the army. In 1912, the British government felt 
that army should have an adequate number of mules and horses for emergencies. Accordingly, it was decided to raise horse breeding centers in central Punjab. Veterinary department was established in 1925. Military farms were already functioning since 1888. After the creation of Pakistan, Remount Veterinary and Farms were combined and renamed as Remount Veterinary and Farms Corps in 1948. On a sunny day in spring, a horse was born at Aslam's farm in Sahibal. It had a white mark on its forehead, considered to be a lucky sign. The farmer named it Badal. Days went by and Badal grew into a fine foal. It gained in strength, muscles and swiftness. At the age of 18 months, Badal was to be sent to the army because he was bred in a 25-acre farm given to the farmer by the government under the horse breeding scheme introduced in 1921. The purpose was to produce horses and mules to meet the requirements of the army. Under the scheme, suitable farmers were given land on lease in the central Punjab with the condition that they will breed horses and mules. They could cultivate these lands as long as they kept providing annually two animals to the government. We were talking about Badal. Today Badal is leaving Aslam's farm forever. Officers of the army have come to the area to inspect and select animals. Badal and other horses and mules have been assembled at the appointed place. Horses gait, height and overall measurements are keenly observed and recorded. If an animal comes up to the required standards, it is selected for service in the army. Badal has also been selected along with other choice horses. Now is the time to brand, which means that the animal has formally been commissioned into government service. Officials and farmers of the area are very enthusiastic. <laughs> 